If you just mitigate some of these noxious positions, get, go to Ikea, get yourself a, a crappy $5 table and put it on your counter. And now you have a standing desk. And you know, and if you've ever gone drink, there are these places called bars. Have you ever gone there? I know no, you have, Doreen. I've heard of it. Right, she's from Boston. You're not better than me. <laughs> and um, the, all you need to do is put your foot up on the bar. You were kidding about the Captain Morgan pose, but what is the Captain Morgan pose about? Well, what bartenders figured out a long time ago was that if I put my foot up on something, it took the extension load out of my back, and then I could stand. And it looks a lot like tree pose in yoga, doesn't it? And what happens then, <clears throat> excuse me, is this allows me to stand without load on my spine, put foot goes up, and now I've mitigated so much of like, oh, I'm standing, my back is killing me, you know, I'm fidgeting, yeah. no problem. So automatically you've taken so much of the problem out of it. If you're gonna bend over, bend over for your work, because that's what you have to do, well, don't spend the rest of your time at work bend over, get into a better position. Those are those block positions. You know, we started looking at the sitting time in our athletes uh, at, at colleges. They were sitting, kids were sitting 12 to 14. This is a great segment. I, I travel a lot, I sit, my sleep's off. There's everyone in the audience is sitting That's right, right now. That's right. Okay, so let's They were sitting 12 to 14 hours a day, these, these Division One players, like yep. you. Like, mm -hmm. into class, I'm playing Xbox, Nintendo, whatever you played, you know, back in the Atari 64. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm that old. So, um, the key here is that when we start just popping up and changing that, let's mitigate the amount of sitting. You're gonna be forced to sit, so you can do the best you can, and you can undo the flight from, by rolling and, and having movement practice. Yeah. But the rest of it, the sort of non, you know, forced sitting, get rid of it. You don't need to sit all the time. You know, stand up and eat breakfast, stand up and eat your emails. I have a standing desk here. And it changes and I, things, doesn't I've it? I've switched to walking meetings. It's amazing. As any time, if I don't need a chalkboard or a whiteboard or some sort of computer, I will grab an executive or a peer here. We'll just go for a walk and talk. And we don't have to walk far. We just walk outside. Walk. There's a great park right here. And walk around there. And in 20 minutes, not only have we got all, everything accomplished that we need to, but I am actually, I you feel, moved. yeah, I You're moved. Not sedentary. Yeah, I feel sharper. Juliet, when she has a serious meeting, um, on the phone, she walks around, she paces. And I'm like, oh, Juliet is in the heat because she's pacing like a tigress, <laughs> right? And uh, she does not say, oh, this is really important, it's Barack Obama, let me sit down, right? And what's happened is that we started to see and notice that, wow, uh, a little online calculator, Juliet stands during work, she burns an extra 50 to 100,000 calories a year. That's 33 marathons. So wow, I'm never gonna you sleep. can run 33 <laughs> marathons Come or you can just stand. And I'm telling you, this is, this is a fast track. You're just getting additional load. You have to have the load.